I like the fact that people here are interested in studying the Bible. They're not afraid to ask questions. They're not afraid to think. They're not afraid to look at new ways of doing things. It's a great church. I'm glad to be here. There are so many wonderful things about First United Methodist Church Florence, but the thing I'm most grateful for is the wonderful congregation that we have. They are generous, loving, caring, and I have found they are so interested and so supportive of the children's department here and about the faith journey of the children of First United Methodist Church. I'm thankful to have been working here for 20 years and thankful to be part of this church. I am so grateful that God has special work for every member of First United Methodist Church to do. I am thankful for family, friends, blue skies, fur babies, windy days, and good smells in the kitchen. I hope you have a thankful season too. Happy 2020. Happy Thanksgiving. I am thankful for the people at this church and all of my students and the fact that I have felt nothing but love and support and acceptance since I started working here. There are three things that I think about when I think about the congregation here at First United Methodist Church of Florence that I really, really uh, am grateful for. The first is that this is a congregation that loves God and that the love that they have for God is demonstrated through uh, their love for one another. The second thing is that there's a great commitment to this community, that the people of this church really want to be a part of this community and serve this community in some pretty significant ways. And then the third thing that I'm grateful for is that their love for God and for one another and their love for this community translate into a spirit of generosity. This church is like home. It's gotten us through many ups and downs. So what I'm thankful for at uh, FUMC is really just the amount of warmth that you feel from everybody here. And I'm thankful for my church family and my family, my friends, and I'm thankful for all the many blessings that God has given me. Most of all, I'm grateful for their willingness to share the light of Christ with others and to help uplift and, and strengthen others and help them feel at home. So, here I am in the First Methodist Church Florence kitchen. And I am thankful for this kitchen. I'm thankful for this church. And I'm thankful for, for you because over the years we have been in this kitchen together. We've served Thanksgiving and Christmas meals. We've fed our youth, the football team, the UNA band. We've, we've fed and celebrated through food and in this kitchen. I am thankful for how our church and how you as members of our church are involved in serving our community. I'm thankful for Dale Cohen and his leadership. I'm thankful for his focus on discipleship. I'm thankful for Terry Stubblefield and his focus on taking care of us in the congregation and for, for reaching out to us when we're sick or in need or we're hurt and we suffer loss. I'm thankful for our staff, all of our staff. I'm thankful for the administrative board. I'm especially thankful for the executive committee of the administrative board for helping me lead through decision making in this time of pandemic. So mostly, I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for each and every person of this church. I'm thankful for this church, but we know that a church is the people. And so therefore, what I would say is, I'm thankful for you, each and every one of you.